hello to all of you so today we are going to perform uh, our new experiment in digital communication and the experiment would be on pam pulse amplitude modulation so here is a brief data of what is pam this pulse amplitude modulation is a scheme or you can say a modulation technique in which the amplitude of regularly spaced pulse can be changed in accordance with the instantaneous values of continuous message signal okay so train a very short pulse with a repetition rate is chosen according to nyquist rate so by this method we can uh, generate the pam signal okay but remember the sampling or well or the pulse signal which we are giving to perform uh, this experiment should be in accordance to the nyquist rate which says that uh, the frequency of these things these signals must be greater than twice of the maximum frequency of the message signal okay so uh, th there are two type actually of pam okay one is the flat top sampling and other one is natural sampling okay so actually uh, pam flat top uh, pulse performs better then the pam signal having natural sampling okay especially in noisy condition okay and uh, when we talk about demodulation we can use a simple low pass filter here okay by using a simple low pass filter we can uh, demodulate this pam signal so now we will move on to the circuit and i will make the circuit here so for making the circuit uh, firstly i will uh, choose the voltage source this voltage source for the message signal and then uh, I'm going to choose clock voltage path for giving the pulse strain and then uh, we will choose basic some register we will choose so we are going to choose 10 kilo ohm register basically here 2 times Okay, then uh, for this modulation part we are going to choose an NPN transistor so we can choose that thing directly from the transistor also in BGT NPN we can use 2 and 4 times 2A okay but we will take a transistor having a higher range okay so 2 and 5 to 3 to is there okay so I'm going to choose this thing done uh, now I will add all of these things okay so I'm going to directly connect uh, this analog input to my transistor and to the base of the transistor I'm going to connect this pulse strain signal this clock one through this 10 kilo register Okay, this is done. So I will change the values here. This clock signal. It is currently a 1 kilohertz, so I am going to increase it. Just take 10 kilohertz of this thing. Voltage 5 volt peak to peak. Okay, so we can change duty cycle also in order to get better output. This we will do afterwards. Okay, we need ground also. lower this thing okay I will connect this thing to the ground also here now this one this R2 is for taking the output so I will rotate it somewhat like this okay it looks fine and the other part of this register I will connect it to the ground so I will just connect it here you can take other ground also but that would be but there would not be any issue if you are connecting uh, this 10 kilo ohm register to this ground and if you are connecting this voltage other end to this ground there is no issue okay or you could choose another uh, ground also okay so there is no issue in doing that part now uh, we will take an oscilloscope here to check the output okay firstly just 
make it little low okay now the circuit looks fine so i would connect here this thing to take the output here okay it is not connected so i am going to just lower down this register now i will connect easily this also is for positive part here negative part would be connected to ground again i have connected this thing to ground you could and directly connect it to the ground also or you could just simply uh, connect it here also okay as all of these are being shorted to the ground this negative part i have this oscilloscope here in the ground and the b part i would take the input signal okay so just simply connect it here now since all of them are in red color so i will just change the color of my input signal to violet one okay now it looks good uh, so we are going to check the output here okay so i will reverse this thing now i will decrease here the voltage division okay and here the time division also okay so you can look here i'm just going to stop the simulation here you can look here the pam okay so okay we are not able to see that what kind of top it is having it is natural pulse so it will be in according to this analog signal only so i'm just going to uh, delete this analog input here and then again i will run the simulation okay now you could see here okay these are the analog signals sorry uh, the pam signal we are getting some spikes also here so just uh, increase this division okay now you can look here here the signal is uh, not having uh, flat top sampling as i have said we are going to do the natural sampling okay so this was the pam signal modulation okay now we will demodulate the signal as already i have said that uh, we will use a simple uh, envelope to detect this spam so i am just going to use a envelope detector here only i will just close this thing and for that thing i would use a register and a capacitor so register i am copying it here from control c or you could right click here and copy it that thing and i am going to paste that thing here now i am going to need a capacitor here and the capacitor just take it here okay fine so i'm going to change the value of this register so just take it around 500 ohm and change the value of this capacitor to 5 microfarad i will show you that what happens when we are changing the value of this capacitor and this register okay as the cutoff frequency of the filter is determined by the value of r and c only so i have chosen the value of r and c which should be better for the detection so i am here going to just uh, take the input of uh, this envelope detector from the output of this uh, pam okay so i will just connect it here okay done finally now this end uh, i would connect it to the ground okay it looks better if i would add a ground here only so now it looks good so now uh, here in the, this b part of oscilloscope i am going to connect it across the capacitor okay here the negative part i have already connected to the ground otherwise i have connected it to here in the ground okay in this ground so that is okay if you are connected connecting a negative part to this ground or this ground there is no issue in that thing okay so here also i am going to change uh, this uh, color so that it would look good and now i will disconnect uh, this oscilloscope from here and i will choose the input signal here and just now we are going to run this simulation again 
okay so here you can see here okay it's going both the colors are avoided only so i'm going to change again uh, this output of demodulator circuit i'm going to change it to red color now again run the simulation okay now you can see here the signal i'm going to stop the simulation okay so you can look here the signal okay the, so the signals are having many spikes this is of because uh, the cutoff range which we have chosen for uh, this envelope detection that is not accurate one okay so we can change the value of this thing this r and c and that in that case we can get uh, a better kind of a signal in demodulation one okay also uh, you can change here the duty cycle suppose i am going to change here the duty cycle to 80 percent in this case just look here the signal okay when i have changed the duty cycle to a higher part the signal looks good okay so you can use these data okay to perform the PAM signal as we can see here the signal looks good and if you want uh, you can change you could check uh, the value of the frequency which we have got in this PAM signal output okay the demodulation part I am going to check here the frequency I'm going to use here both the cursor again so uh, red one is our uh, demodulation one so I'm going to check the frequency of this demodulation one so I have started from the end of this lap so I am going to put this thing in here so here you can see uh, that uh, the time difference between um, both of my cursors is around 1 millisecond so if you look convert uh, this 1 millisecond in frequency you have to inverse it and uh, that will get a value of around uh, 1 kilohertz yeah it will give around the value of 1 kilohertz so yes uh, our frequency is great okay so we have successfully demodulated our PAM signal so this was the end of the experiment okay I hope you have understood that how to do the natural sampling of PAM signal so thank you for watching